Behind all the line, breaks lurtly on the rail. Swale of the center of the track goes with him. No exception between horses. And Stickler on the outside. Darn mad alarm with Swale right alongside second. Stickler on the outside third. Dr. Carter between horses fourth. No exception is fifth. Counterfeit money on the outside six. McGursky is seventh. Dancing crown. And the trailer is right in tow. First quarter in 23 and 1. Midway on the clubhouse turn. Darn that alarm with the lead three parts of a length. Swale stalks on the outside second. A gap of two lengths. Stickler third. Dr. Carter on the outside is fourth. A length and a half. No exception. Fifth. Counterfeit money is sixth. Dancing crown seventh. The Gursky. Then we come back to Rexon's Hope. They went the half in 46 and 3. Midway down the back stretch. Darn that alarm by a neck. Swale moves alongside second. There goes the doctor on the outside third. There's the gap of four lengths. Stickler fourth. Counterfeit money fifth. Dancing crown between horses six. Bow exception at seventh. Nagurski and the trainer. It's Rexin's hope. They move on the far turn. Darn that alarm by a head. There goes the doctor. Swale on the outside. Dr. Carter now circles the leaders on the outside and comes on the challenge, but Swale battles right back. It's Swale and Dr. Carter. These two are heads apart as they come to the quarter pole. Darn little alarm drops back third. The rest far back to Nagurski. They turn for home. It's Dr. Carter, but Swale on the rail. Now battles back. Dr. Carter once again to the outside. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Swale has the lead. Dr. Carter battles on the outside. They come down to the wire. Swale is holding on. It's Swale three parts of length. Dr. Carter digging in and fighting on the outside. Swale holding on three parts of length. It's Swale. Swale's going to be the winner. Dr. Carter the second. Darn little on third. And Rexon's hope from far back was fourth. They went the distance in 147 and three-fifths seconds. Now back to you, Jim McKay. Okay, Ross Martin with the call of the race, and there is the unofficial winner of the Florida Derby, Swale, a son of Seattle Slu, trained by Woody Stevens, who is not here today. He's in Cincinnati preparing vision for the Jim Beam stakes tomorrow, another important three-year-old race. Swale, the unofficial winner, however, and unofficially Dr. Carter second, and darn that alarm third. So it went pretty much, Bill, according to Hoyle, didn't it? Yes, it looked like a cleanly run race, and uh, the three, three, the first three choices were laying one, two, three, and it looked to me like uh, Swill just uh, outgamed Doc Carter. Okay, when I say according to Hoyle, there would be these two horses. Of course, Dr. Carter was the favorite. You, you by the way, did say that your horse was Swale, and so it turned out to be. Here he is coming down to the, to the line. What, wasn't giving an inch. No, there's no question that that race, he, his last race that he ran, did him a lot of good today. Of course, Doc Carter still challenged him all the way, but Swill didn't give up. You, both, you call them both of them still contenders for the Kentucky Derby? Well, like I say, there's not much between the two. And uh, paying seven forty, three eighty, and three dollars. Second, Dr. Carter paying two eighty and two sixty, and third, darn that alarm, paying three forty. The fourth place horse was Rexon's Hope. So actually, the four horses we talked seem to be running in the clear most of the way. He certainly did seem to be. There they are headed down uh, toward the end of the backstretch. Now Dr. Carter is joining you, and now the battle's going to be on. Huh? Yes, uh, I, I saw the shadow of Dr. Carter. I, I was watching him, and I knew he was I knew he was, was right behind me. Behind me. So uh, right here, when I, when I saw him coming, I let my horse go. Now here they are coming to the final turn. And uh, he just couldn't get by it, could he? That's right. Uh, this, this horse liked to, to fight back. You know, he never gave up. And, and I uh, hit him a couple of times, and he was responding, responding most of the way. And he sure wasn't giving an inch as they came down the stretcher. That's right. He, uh, right about here, I still had right him right here. I'm going to hit him. I hit him, and he responded beautifully. So right about here, I, I knew I knew that I had a one. Lafitte, it looks like you find yourself a horse for the Kentucky Derby. Yes, he's. It's, uh, it's nice to know that I got a good, ho good horse to ride, you know. That's the, the race that uh, I think every jockey in America likes to win, and I hope someday I win it. 